welcome back everyone so this tool will be customizing your windows 10 or 11 to the next level now before proceeding let me give you a quick overview that what all this tool can do now this can replace the windows startup sound that means that you can have a sound of windows xp on your windows 10 or windows 11 and you can disable the windows 11 background application by one click you can enable the stickers for the desktop background you can enable the classic full context menu you can do a lot of optimization and even you can use it for the troubleshooting all right so there are tons of things that you can do with one single tool so let's quickly get started and see how you have to install and use it so the name of the tool is win arrow tweaker you will be getting this website link in the description you have to come to this page then scroll down and you will find download win arrow tweaker so click on it close that the downloading will be started and this will be downloaded in a zip file so once it's been downloaded open the downloaded folder now make a right click on it click on extract all choose the location wherever you want to extract then click on extract and once it will be extracted you will find two set of file here so you need to look for the one that says win arrow tweaker setup so make a right click on it then click run as administrator then click on yes click on next again keep this selected to normal mode then click on next accept the agreement click on next 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 and install once it has been installed click on finish you will be getting this kind of box click on i agree and now the win arrow tweaker box will be popping up and you can see there are lots of tools inbuilt inside this tool and it is start with the information that give you the basic system information like your operating system the processor detail your about your ram primary display wei score that you can click and refresh it so i will be discussing about everything that has been included in this tool so the second option is recent changes so if you have made any kind of recent changes so everything will be displayed here now this can be very useful when you want to know that what exactly you did in past few hours so that accordingly you can troubleshoot any kind of problem okay so as of now i have not done anything so it's not showing me but probably on your end it will show you some kind of data and information next you have the bookmark option so you can manage your bookmark from here next we have windows 11 toolbar so the first one that we have is the classic full context menus so now after update what exactly has happened what has been changed that if you make a right click on any of the icon all the options are not being displayed and you have to click on show more options okay but if you want the old option back the classic full context menu then make a double click on it check this option that says enable classic full context menus and then click on restart explorer once you restart this time when you make a right click on it you will see that the old context menu option has been back with all the options now next we have the classic taskbar as of now this tool is not working because after the update there has been some kind of changes and then we have the disable background app so if you are using windows 11 and if you want to disable all the background application then you have to make a double click on it check this box disable background apps all at once and that's it you're all done then we have enable a sticker for desktop background so if you want to enable any kind of sticker that should be uh, pasted on your desktop then you have to enable this option and then it will ask you to sign out now so if i click on sign out now and once you sign it back again so this time if you make a right click on the desktop so you will find a new option here that says add or edit stickers and if i click on it so you will find that the sticker option has been overlaid on the top and now it will display all kind of stickers that you can use so let's say if i want to use this one so i will click on it and the sticker will be added if you click twice two sticker will be added and you can move this to any place 
and locate to any part of the desktop. And now even if I close it, so you can see this sticker will be remaining on my desktop. Okay, so this is a quite cool feature that you can enjoy with the help of this tool. All right, then you have the remove Windows Spotlight desktop option that you can check. And now let's come to the appearance section. And in the appearance, you get the arrow light option. And if you double click on it, so here you can enable the arrow light default theme of Windows 11. And if you just make a click on it, so the theme will be changed now. And even you can see the taskbar theme has been changed. Okay, and if you want to revert the action, then you can click on set Windows default theme. Okay, next we have the custom accent. Then you have the dark color scheme, inactive title bar color, slow down animation, startup sound. So the startup sound means that if you want to change the sound when the computer boot up, so you just have to double click on it. So this is my Windows 11 current sound that has been enabled. And now if you want to replace it with any kind of custom sound or any kind of other sound like Windows XP, then you can easily replace it. Just you have to download the clip and that should be in the WAV file. All right, so let me quickly download it and show you how exactly this will work. All right, so I have downloaded the file that is in the WAV file. So I have to click on replace the startup sound. Go to the location where you have the file. Select it then click on open and then you have to click on reboot now okay so this time when the computer will reboot you will find that it will be coming up with the windows xp sound that i have changed so let me click on reboot now all right so did you hear the sound so that was the windows xp sound and similarly, you can use any kind of other custom sound for starting your computer. All right, so let me quickly log in again. And if I again bring up the win arrow tweaker, so let's see what are the other options that you get here. So we are all done in the appearance. Rest, if I have missed anything, you can check from your own self. And then we have the advanced appearance setting. So you can manage your icons, menus, messages font, reset advanced appearance windows border windows title bar so that all you can do i cannot go in the detail with each and everything because it will be a quite long video so that you can check by your own self now next we have the behavior and from here you can manage ads and unwanted apps automatic registry backup so if you want that there should be a backup of your of your registry automatically then you can click on it and enable this option so this is an important feature that you're getting with this tool. And the next we have the disable arrow shake. So if you want to disable the arrow shake or enable it, then you can enable it from here. Then you have the disable app lookup in a store. And then you have the disable automatic maintenance. So if you want to optimize your computer for the low uh, CPU and the memory usage, then you can open it and disable this option. Then you have disable download blocking. Then you have disable driver update, disable MRT from installing, disable smart screen, user folder backup. So these are the tools that you can use for the troubleshooting and for the optimization. Okay, and even you can disable the Windows update. Now many people they want to update the Windows for that they uh, go with the manual method and sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But here you can just do with one single click. So open the disable Windows update. And check this option and it says here you can disable windows update in windows 10 just enable the checkbox to stop windows 10 from installing update to stop windows 10 from rebooting your computer automatically to disable windows update knacks and pop-ups to avoid any forced update or upgrade all right and then we have the enable crash on control plus scroll lock and if you're not sure about anything then you can open it and in the description you can read about it that what exactly it is used for so this tool is basically used for the bsod the blue screen problem so you can just check it out then you have the emoji picker error reporting keep thumbnail cache show bsod disable smiley so if you double click on it so what will happen if you disable this option so if you want that the sad smiley should not be displayed and instead it should display the information about the error then you can go and enable this option 
all right and then we have sound for print screen key split threshold for svc host usb write protection so if you want to manage the usb write protection you can manage it windows installer in safe mode x mouse option so there are tons of options that you can enable it and you can use it then we have the boot and log on section and you will find a lot of useful tool here that says auto repair at boot so what you can do you can make a double click on it and check this option and what will happen that this option disable the automatic uh, boot repair process so you can perform manual troubleshooting all right so you can enable this option so these all are the troubleshooting tool that you can use then you have the boot options and if you click on it it says turn on windows 7 like boot menu so you can go and make your windows startup like windows 7 always show boot menu always show advanced boot option enable editing of boot option at a startup okay so you can just look on these options then we have chk disk timeout default lock screen log you can also disable let's finish setting up your device that many people have the problem that every time it asks you to fill let's finish setting up your device and if you don't want then you can double click on it and disable this option you can disable the blur on sign in screen then disable lock screen so if you want to disable the lock screen you can do it from here enable control alt delete so due to any reason if the control alt delete option is not working on your computer you can enable it with this tool you can enable the num lock on login screen there are many tools that you can check it out okay then we have the desktop and taskbar option and you can manage almost everything from here then you have the context menu similarly there are tons of options here like you can go and create different kind of shortcut for classic shutdown shortcut you can also create a safe mode shortcut so once you create a safe mode shortcut you just need to make a double click on it and it will directly take you to the safe mode similarly there are many other shortcuts that you can check it out then you have many kind of tool here uh, like you can clear wallpaper history you can merge registry file you can restart the file explorer all right guys so you can just go ahead and install this tool right now check all the tool and let me know that what all option you find most useful in this tool and hopefully you will find this video helpful do not forget to like and subscribe and i see you in the next video Bye bye